All right, welcome to the warm-up tonight, national championship game, 4.30, right here on 710 ESPN, Seattle, Oregon, Auburn. At this point, who cares? Right? I'm just, well, I, I, do. Watched, I do. I watched for the third time this morning the Seahawks-Saints game. I cannot get enough of that Marshawn Lynch run. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I go Eight frame to tackles. frame. I love that. Yeah, they had they had the little graphic up oh. there where Sean. Was it eight or was it nine? I counted nine. How about number twenty-two? Who was that guy? Uh, I never did that. Tracy Porter. Porter. Who got stiff armed? Twenty-two. Who just he not only did he get stiff armed, arms. but he, he was pushed back five yards. Oh, it was a beast mode. Yeah, it was a beast mode. Well, that's what we've been waiting for, right? Oh. Marshawn Lynch. He and then he ran right through Roman Harper good, at the two-yard line. <laughs> Roman Harper was abused all afternoon. Matt Hasselbeck, the game of his life. Look, you've been around a long time. I, have, I can't pretend to have seen all the Hasselbeck's games, but just to listen to people that have watched the Hawks for a long time, paid observers, that was the game of his career. Well, the game of his career, and honestly, I, I don't think you can overstate it too much. It was the best game in Seahawks history, period. Wow. I mean, I, I was trying to think of the best games in Seahawks NFC history. Championship to get into the Super I've been, Bowl. You know, I'm 53. Five? I've been here since you know the Seahawks came to town. I can't think of a better game yeah. in a situation like that than the one that they played on Saturday. District there was a game in Miami in '83 when they beat the Dolphins, and that was really cool. With Dan Marino. With Dan Marino. Yeah, I heard Ray this one. About this one topped that, and the Lynch run, I oh. think, was the best play in Seahawks history. That yeah, was just good. crazy, crazy good. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today with the fans. Well, at the fan, I mean, look, we could flap gums for an hour and a half. We're not. We're going to listen to you. Where were you? What was going on? How loud did you yell? Where were you at the game? Where were you at home? That type of thing. All at 3 o'clock, the fans sound off right here on 710 ESPN Seattle. But who are you rooting for in the national title game? You know, I kind of like Auburn right now. Yeah. I've, I've liked Cam Newton despite all the crap that's gone down around him and whether or not, you know, he's cheating or not. Uh, pretty clear the old man was looking for a handout somewhere. But I just think he's a terrific athlete. And I'm kind of with you on Chip Kelly. He's kind of a smug, visor-wearing guy. He was at visor <laughs> I again. I just can't stand I mean, it. just snap him in half. Yeah. Well, I'm, I like Auburn because, honestly, I'm in a bowl pool, and if Auburn wins, I win the whole damn thing. thousand bucks. If Woo! I, if Auburn wins. Wow. $1,000 if Auburn wins. So Pray for Jim because he needs need the money. To, no, you need to take Oregon in the points because I have no shot at winning anything. All right, we done. That's the warm-up. Thank you, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs>